guy who knows how to make learning fun for everyone. And I'm asking all of you today to take everything you know about education and toss it out the window. I've been an educator for 17 years and recognize that the monumental task of educating students can leave many frozen in fear. But learning doesn't have to be intimidating or chilling. In fact, if we're properly prepared, we can learn and have fun all at the same time. I brought along some liquid nitrogen. <laughs> it happens to be minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's a great metaphor for education. I think learning should be super ultra cool, but the reality is we teach kids the same way we've taught them for many, many years. Education is our opportunity to change the way we engage, to change the way we inspire and motivate kids. And most importantly, it's our opportunity to have fun. So let's introduce some dramatic change. I also brought along some boiling water, <laughs> which happens to be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. I know you're thinking, what's this guy about to do? And I'm just hoping they turn off the fire alarm. But more importantly, when I put this into that bucket, I'm introducing lots of energy amazing, powerful energy that is going to transform how an audience reacts. They're gonna stop, they're gonna look, and they're gonna say, man, I wish you would've been my science teacher. <laughs> the truth is, education is not about what we teach, it's about the how we teach it. And if we want to connect with kids in a world filled with technology, social media, online access 24-7, then we need to do things to take the ordinary and make them extraordinary ourselves. You guys all know what a garbage can is. You all know what a garbage bag is. And some people like myself, well, we like to take a brand new bag and a brand new can, cut a hole into it, wrap it up, and then hit the side like this. Sometimes you get so brute strong that, well, you knock things over. The air, when I hit this with my hand, I exert a force on this plastic membrane. I took something ordinary, like a garbage can in a plastic bag, to create something extraordinary called a vortex cannon. But air is something really hard to see. So let's introduce some fog to the situation. Because when we make learning tangible for kids, something that they can see, something that they can touch, well, it transforms how an audience interacts. It makes them stop. It makes them say and observe. <laughs> and all of you, all of you, and it's still going, and all of you out there are gonna go home and say, I need to cut a hole into the bottom of my garbage can. <laughs> Now, I love doing experiments, but I also love using media. Media is such a powerful tool that we need to use to enhance the way we learn with our kids. And media allows kids to dig deeper, to dive into stuff they may not otherwise have access to. I connect with learners locally and all across the world on online platforms. And here is one of my videos. Actually, it's a snippet. I want you to look at that. That balloon is about to crash into my head, and it's filled with water. I want you to make a prediction about where you think that water is going to splash, and here's why. My brother and I thought it would be an amazing video to capture a, a water balloon splashing over my head in slow motion, a thousand frames per second. So you guys want to see what happens? Yeah. Do you have your prediction? Yeah. All right, let's cue that video. It's science time. 
Oh, dude, you hit me in the face. <laughs> it's science time. It's science time. It's Mr. C's science time. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, you hit me in the face. <laughs> Major epic fail. Now, we started with little water balloons. They were amazing. They were popping over my head, and we were like, let's go bigger. Let's make them more awesome. Let's do this in slow motion so we have this on video forever. <laughs> but what I learned was slightly different than what we expected to happen. Number one, no matter how convincing your little brother is, never, ever allow him to throw a 10-pound water balloon at your head. <laughs> Number two, everyone at a Mr. C video shoot really needs to know and understand the concussion protocol. <laughs> and lastly, my hair gel <laughs> truly has an amazing hold. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, media allows us to capture those moments. It allows learners to see successes and failures. And that's what learning's all about. And really, that's where all of you come into this equation. To some degree, all of you have kids in your life. Maybe you're the crazy neighbor who blows up hydrogen balloons as he prepares for a TED Talk. Or you're the cousin who visits their family during the holidays, and you bake together, and you talk about the chemical reaction that's taking place as you mix all those ingredients up, put it in the oven, and out comes delicious brownies. Or you're that big brother who helps his little sister plant her first tomato seed in the family garden, and you talk about biology and photosynthesis and the importance of sunlight. We all have these abilities to work and connect with our students locally in our town. And what I want to say to you is this. We have to make them memorable and powerful. Because when we do, they live with us forever and they inspire us. Just like the Daytonian brothers, the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright, we need to learn how to harness the power of air to create lift in our community. We need to do the small things to make something special. Look at this toilet paper. When I blow across the top of it, the toilet paper lifts. The air moving across the toilet paper has less pressure than the air below it, which allows the air below to lift up the toilet paper just like the wings of the Wright Brothers flyer. What if each of you were able to take a breath of air to support a child in your community, to make learning just a little bit more fun. I'm going to invite all of you, all of you, to join me to create Lyft to help support our community and inspire the next generation of learners. Together, we can take the ordinary and make it extraordinary as we shift how we engage. Let's have some fun. And most importantly, let's learn together. <laughs> <laughs>